these, the US president on Cuban soil. It comes after months of careful planning, but the one thing they could do little about, of course, was the Caribbean weather. First stop on the trip was to thank embassy staff for their work. This is a historic visit, and it's a historic opportunity to engage directly with the Cuban people and to forge new agreements and commercial deals, to build new ties between our two peoples, uh, and for me to lay out my vision for a future that's brighter than our past. Cubans everywhere have longed for a reconciliation with the United States. Seeing President Obama in old Havana felt like that moment had come. But there are still differences between them. Shortly before he arrived, the Cuban authorities detained members of a dissident group, the Ladies in White, on their weekly anti-government march. Most Cubans, though, aren't dissidents. They're just trying to make ends meet under the US economic embargo. President Obama is due to meet entrepreneurs in Cuba's new market economy, people like Gilberto Valladares or Papito, who runs a beauty salon. I hope this new friendship will help business, he says, but the closer links between the two peoples is the most important thing. The next two days will involve some of the most exciting moments of this trip, including President Obama addressing the Cuban people and a US-Cuba baseball game. Whatever comes, though, this is likely to be one of the most memorable visits of his presidency. Will Grant, BBC News, Havana.